everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and I'm gonna do a try on of the new Rare Beauty products. So, Rare Beauty is like this new brand uh, by Selena Gomez. I don't honestly know a ton about it, to be honest. I didn't even know about it. But my daughter, my 20 year old, she um, was really interested in it and so she went to Sephora and she bought all the stuff. So, I'm trying to see if there's any info. I think it's supposed to be like a lighter coverage type of formula, not like more simple, lighter, fresh looking maybe. I don't know, but she has it all. So I thought, you know, why not try it on? So I'm going to show you everything. She picked up just about everything besides the brow. Um, and I went ahead and picked up a palette, an eyeshadow palette because since she purchased all of it. They came out with an eyeshadow palette. Um, I didn't get the brow because I'm just not, even though I need it, I'm just not good about that. So, um, okay. So I'm going to go through this really quick. So first there is the liquid touch weightless foundation and this retails for $29. I'm going to try this all on. Now this probably is not my color, but we'll make it work. So this is what the wand looks like. We don't have very good lighting. I don't know why. So there's the wand. Here's the foundation. <laughs> My daughter's got like a darker complexion than me, obviously. So I don't know about that. We'll make it work. Um, this retails for $29. And then there's a foundation brush. Obviously she's used it and I didn't clean it because I should have, but it's just my daughter. Um, so this is the brush. This is the foundation brush. So we're gonna try that. Ooh, it could be definitely too dark for me. Maybe we'll just stick, maybe we'll do a tiny little bit just so that we try it and then we'll do concealer. Okay, so then there's also a concealer brush which looks just like the foundation brush but it's a little smaller and has that same like angle. And the concealer brush retails for $16. The foundation brush retails for $28. And from what I understand, you can get this on rarebeauty.com and on Sephora. They don't have it on Ulta. Those are the only two places um, that I saw it on. There could be another store, but from what I understand, it's just Rare Beauty and Sephora. Okay, so then I'm just going down the list because I wrote this all down. This is the sponge. Um, I wet it already but it's like this odd shaped, it's very porous. So I don't think I'm going to like that because to be honest, I don't like sponges. I like them more like this where it's very, like the pores are small. I don't know if it's even called a pore, but you know, the sponge pores are small. The sponge retails for $14. Ugh. And then we have the primer. Is that the primer? Yeah, so this is the primer. Oh, and it's an illuminating primer. I forgot to tell you that. So it is an illuminating primer. Ooh, and a little goes a long way. And I'm hearing noises. I think it's, I think the wind is moving things. Okay, so the primer, I kind of like that. Ooh. Um, is, retails for $26. Then we have the concealer. The concealer retails for $19. She picked up... Let's see, this is 230N and 210N. So this one's 230N. Oh, look at that brush. Hold on. It's kind of like, that's a little different. So this is 230N. And then this one is 210N. I guess the one she had wanted, when she went into the store, they didn't have the color that she had wanted. And so she went with a different color. And then um, she turned around and ordered the other one online. Then I picked up the 1010N because I like my primer to be super light. I'm very pale. So this might work to cover up like zits, but I haven't tried. This is very light. So this is the 1010N. Ooh, that's how I like my primer. I like it to make it, I'm already 
pale as it is, but I like it to lighten up. Okay, next. I was trying to do this the easiest way possible so I could show you all the products, tell you the prices, and then try them on, but yeah, probably could have done this easier. Um, I said primer, that's concealer, not primer. So then we have the Positive Light Liquid Highlighter, and these retail for $22. These are pretty good size, and she has it in Mesmerize and Enchant. So those are pretty good size highlighters. So this one is Mesmerize. All, all the wands are just a little bit different. So that's the wand for Mesmerize. And then we have Enchant, right? Yes. There's Enchant. They're both very pretty. This would be pretty on the eyes too. And did I tell you? Yeah, I told you those are 22. Okay, then we have the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. And she picked up two of them. We have Happy and Bliss. And the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush retails for $20 each. So, same kind of wand as the, um, the highlighter. So this is Happy. And this is Bliss, right? Yes, Happy and Bliss. So those are the two blushes. Obviously, you know, we like blend them out. Oh, you know what I realized? They didn't have a conceal, um, not a concealer, a, um, what's it called? Contour. Oh, you know what? When I was looking at the concealers, they had quite, quite a range of concealers and they had light to very dark. And I was thinking you could probably take the darker concealer and use it as a contour. I don't know how to do that properly. I don't know what color to prop, to, to get and I feel like it would just be a mess and I probably wouldn't get the right thing. So I went ahead and didn't do that. Um, let's see, let's wipe these off because then I have some lip products. Yeah, that was really cute. My daughter's never been huge into makeup. Um, I mean, she's just the couple, like last couple years here and there. It's not something she wears every day, um, more for like special occasions. <laughs> Um, so then we have the Perfect Strokes Liquid Liner. This is the liquid, liquid liner and it retails for $19. And I tested this out already and I like it. Um, it doesn't bleed, which is really nice. I was telling my daughter that. I tested this out the other day, put it on my hand, and then I didn't wipe it off. I started doing stuff. I had to actually scrub it to get it off so it stays on, which is nice because my eyes water sometimes from allergies. Okay, so then, oh, she also had this little, it's called the Blot and Glow Touch Up Kit, and it's $26, and it's like this little compact, and it has the little blot papers right here for when you get greasy, and then has a little poof, and the little poof has... It's supposed to have powder, you can't really see it, but it has powder built into it, and then it has a little mirror. So that's a cute little compact type thing. Um, and that, I said was 26. Okay, then, oh, we also have the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Prime and Set Mist. It looks like it has like an oil in there. I don't know if you could see the, see that or not. Don't worry, I didn't break it. Okay, so the mist, I don't feel like is as fine as it could be. I might as well, yeah, it feels, it feels like big droplets. It doesn't, like it's not such a fine mist. And it smells like, what is that? Like eucalyptus or something, what is that smell? It's not bad, like an, like, like it has an essential oil in it or some of some sort. I'm not sure. Okay, then we have the Gratitude Dewy Lip Balms, and they look like this. Um, and she bought, she picked up three of these. These are $16 each. There's Honor, Blessed, and Praise. 
So this is what they look like. This one is blessed. And then we have honor. Here, let's do this one. I think the honor's clear. This one is praise. See, I don't think she really knew what to get, so she kind of got a few of each. And this one is honor. So this one's more of like a clear, yeah. Feels nice. We'll leave it on and see how, how that goes. 16 each. And then the last thing she picked up was the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Sticks. And these retail for $20 each. She picked up Inspire and Energize. So this one is Energize. Again, a bit of a different kind of applicator. So this is Energize. See, these are more like, they kind of look like a balm too. They're very light. These kind of look like you could wear them on your, um, like it should be a blush. And this one is Inspire. Ooh, that one's definitely darker. Very pretty though. Okay, so then the very last thing, um, like I said, they do have a brow. It's called the Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel, and that retails for $22. I did not pick that up, and neither did she. So that's the one product that we don't have. And I also picked this up, which is um, the eyeshadow palette. They had two different eyeshadow palettes that they just came out with. So I ordered this from Sephora. Look at this packaging. It's actually really cute. It's very sleek looking. Okay, and so this magnetic, magnetic Spirit eyeshadow palette retails for $25. And the little paper, it says, you are rare. And then it has a full mirror, and these are the colors. So let me swatch these for you. So we've got we've got passion, grounded, clarity. Wait. Oh, I double swatched. Okay. That was not smart. Let's try this again. So <laughs> I use the same finger twice. Rookie mistake. So what did I say? The first two were passion. I think passion grounded. And then we've got clarity. That one's really pretty. And then this one is power. Ignite and a base. So those are the colors. Very, very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Very pretty. Um, yeah. God, I love that purple. That purple and that pink are just calling my name. I think I might use this one since the color of my shirt. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I could use anything. Um, okay. So let's start with. That took a lot longer than I anticipated. Let's wipe these off. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, I'll link this all down below too, the primer. So I did this spray set four in one mist. I don't know what makes it four in one. Oh, prime and set. I don't know what makes it four, but okay. So I use that. I'm going to use a little bit of the primer. And the only thing I did with my face today is I washed it. And I, ooh, I can see, I can definitely see. It's, it's made my face all glowy. Um, I washed it and I put like serum and um, foundation on. And not foundation. <laughs> Moisturizer. Okay. Now, we're gonna try a tad bit of this. I, I don't know, it seems a little, a little dark for my skin. So I'm literally hardly putting anything. Maybe I should put it on the brush. <laughs> that might be better. <clears throat> okay, 
I might look crazy. Ooh, definitely two. That's why I'm putting it down here. Wow. Definitely too orange. Too dark for me. But, feels like the coverage is nice. Maybe I should have gotten a darker. You know, um, or not a darker, a lighter. It does have nice coverage though. I mean, not, but not like heavy. Because I honestly, I don't do a lot of foundation anymore. I mainly just do, I'm just doing it today to try it out. I mainly do concealer. So let's use this one and try to touch up my blemishes here. Because I got a couple of them. Well, let's just do that. And we use this little brush. I never use the brushes anymore. Hmm. A little bit of redness. Hmm. It's not covering it up very good. Okay, let's use this color. And this is my color. Ooh, I, <laughs> I might have gone a little too light. Um but maybe that's good because I need to kind of even things out because I use that dark color. Let's try the this. I don't I don't know about these. Ooh, it's like picking it all up. I mean it doesn't look bad. I just don't care for these, like, more coarse, uh, holy kind. I don't know. You know what I mean? My daughter likes them, though. Smells weird. <laughs> oh, I'm such a critic. Okay. Um, I'm going to use mine. That zit's not going anywhere. I'm having difficulties with it. Maybe this isn't too light. Maybe using the darker foundation and then really light concealer is helping balance it out a little. Um, I like it. I'm gonna have to try it with like my regular, that's the only thing about trying everything new. Like I don't know how this Actually, you know what? Using that darkened concealer gave me some kind of like a bronze effect. Look at that. Looks like I've got bronzer in there. Because I'm so pale. Who'd, who'd have thought my daughter's regular color would make me look bronzed? <laughs> it's too funny. No, I like it. I think I'm going to definitely use it again. I feel like though my this zit just is going to drive me crazy. My face has been looking really good, too. That didn't work. Let's try my shape tape. Yeah, my shape tape is definitely darker than that. I mean, I'm not leaving the house anyways, but... Okay, I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, I am going to, let's put some, I don't have bronzer. Oh no, my brush got messed up. But I am gonna put a little bit. And it's like a cream to powder bronzer by Yensa and I love it. I don't know why I brushed it off because there's nothing to brush off. I think it's force of habit. I almost feel like I didn't even need to add the bronzer because the that darker color kind of gave me a bit of a bronze look. At least on my cheeks right there. Huh. That's what happens when you have such pale skin. Any little thing looks super bright and you know it looks like a little too much, huh? 
Anyways, how are you guys doing? I know this is going to be a long video. I apologize in advance. But I really wanted to try this stuff out. And this is the first time I'm trying it besides using the eyeliner on my, um, on my wrist there. Okay, so we did concealer, foundation, primer. Let's try a little bit of the highlight. I never use like liquid highlighter, to be honest. So, well, actually, when I have used liquid highlighter, I'll use it in, um, in my, like, mix it in with the foundation. Oh, it kind of goes to, like, a powdery feel. That's kind of nice. I don't know if you guys can even see. too much on, on that side as you're like mixing it in not mixing it in but you know with your finger it kind of gets like a it feels powdery like soft and silky see a little bit of a glow there okay and now let's do the blush. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the brighter blush because I like this color. But what I think I'll do, you literally don't need like hardly any, like just like a dab. A dab will do ya. I wonder if I did it with this. Ooh. I think that dab was a little too much. I look like um, I just went outside in the snow and it's cold. <laughs> That's okay. We'll put powder on. We'll fix it. Okay. Let's get, I'm just gonna use, oh, I guess I can use this powder. This is more like a, like a finishing powder, right? So I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star powder and we're gonna try to like minimize some of this craziness. Whew. I don't know if it helps, but I kind of, I'm going to put it right on top of where I did all the blush. <laughs> Just to give myself a little bit of, like, maybe it'll tone it down a little. I don't do things the proper way. So if you're trying to watch me to figure out the proper way to do something, I don't. <laughs> I do it my way, the Michelle way. But then I guess they say, like, with makeup, there's no right and wrong way. There's, like, tips and tricks and stuff, but, you know, do it how, what works for you. Everyone does things different. Oh, his powder is so fine. There's, like, particles flowing through the air here. Oh, and I just spilt it. Not smart, Michelle. Man, okay, what's next? Let's do, um, let me get a clean brush. Actually, this, this one's fine. Okay, so I think, I don't know what color, what, should I, what color should I do? I wish I could be like, what color? And then you guys come back and tell me. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use this color because I feel like that will match the best of what I'm wearing. So just a dab will do ya. <sighs> Get the powder off my thing there. The only thing I don't like about this palette is I always like to put like a base type color down. I, I need to clean my mirror, hold on. Okay, whoops, I'm back. 
Um, I usually like to put a little bit of like a base down before I put my eyeshadow on. Like a light color to just, I don't know, put like a, a swoop of color. A swoop of cream. I don't know. A swoop of a swoop of my own skin tone. It seems like the it works good when you do it like that. Like the eyeshadow will go on smoother. Although this is going on pretty smooth. I don't know if you're seeing this. It's not like blotchy or anything. It's going on. Man, my eyebrows are so bad. I need to pluck them. I won't get up close. Don't worry. I won't make you see how bad it looks. So I think... I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to take the other side of my brush and kind of just dip in and focus the color a little darker, right, in the crease and on the outer edge. And then underneath. I don't know why, but I used to never, ever, I mean, only in the last maybe two years, I started putting color underneath my eyelash. I never did before under my eye. Obviously, right now it looks like I've got a black eye, but I just love the look of it. I don't know what it is. I love the look. Okay, then I think I'm gonna take this color right here, which is passion, and I'm gonna put it on my finger. Man, this is one of those that has a hard time sticking to your finger. There we go. Oh, I guess there's a mirror right here, huh? Hmm, I don't know if I like that one. I don't know if I care for that color now. I mean, it looks good. It's not bad. I just feel like it needs something a little lighter. Like a little bit, I don't know. I kind of have like a way that I like my eyes to look. I like it dark on the, in the crease in the outer corner, and then it goes a little lighter, blends up. And then I like it like, like a highlight, but I don't think those highlights will work. Well, Maybe I'll put a little highlight. Okay, let's try that. Let's try this. Let's see what happens if we do this. I mean, the worst it could do is mess it up, right? It didn't really make much of a change, to be honest. Okay, let me do the other eye exactly like this and then we'll fin come back and finish. Oops. Okay, I keep moving my camera. Sorry guys. I did the same exact thing. I used this color, put a little bit of this, and I put a tiny bit of this on top of it. Um, it's not really giving me the exact color I'd like, but it's kind of what we have. So, hmm. So we're just gonna stick with it. I mean, why not? Um, I am gonna put a little bit of, I have this highlighter, and I'm gonna just dab that a little bit on top just to give it slightly a lighter look because I like it to be, I don't know, I like it to be a little lighter, like that. Um, I'm also, if I can find the right brush, I'm gonna put a little of this highlight on my inner corner. Sorry, I'm not showing you. And right here, under my brow bone, just to give it a little bit of highlight. And, oh, I also took the tiniest bit, like I just barely went like that and just kind of like went into the outer corner just a tad with this brown color just to like deepen it up. I, I didn't really want the brown color. I just wanted to make it a little darker, try to make it slightly more smoky. Um, okay, so there's the palette. I do like the colors. I like the formula. I think the formula is really nice. Um, but I I got to mix other stuff in. I feel like, no, I mean, I guess you could do a look. I just like things a certain way, so, you know. Okay, now we're going to do the eyeliner. I have not done eyeliner 
in like a long time it feels like so I'm going I have to look down here so let's see I'm so bad at eyeliner guys ooh this is nice I'm just gonna do it nice and thin I can't talk apparently see that I probably shouldn't talk while I'm doing this I'm feeling shaky Ooh, my hands are super shaky <laughs> This is a nice eyeliner, nice and dark. It's got a nice fine tip. Gosh, you barely have to touch. This is a good eyeliner. I am really loving this. If you guys don't get anything else, you gotta get the eyeliner. very easy to use and it definitely does not run or is that the word run you know it's very nice it doesn't uh it, that's what it's called right where it like runs into the creases that always happens to me okay I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna make you watch me do the other eye. I am going to do the other eye, and then I'm gonna put um, mascara on because there is no mascara in this set. She doesn't have any. So let me finish the other eye and put mascara on, and I'll come back. Oops. <laughs> Keep moving the camera. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm back. I did the other eye. Readjust myself, and I put some mascara on. I used. Um, loving 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 this it's the Laura Geller fortifying lashes eyelash primer that's all I put on so I don't know I love this lash primer no I just put I just use the primer now I don't even use I mascara and I'm love mascara Whoop. um so that's it I actually really like this stuff um I feel like the foundation worked really well Obviously not the right color for my skin tone, but I did like, I, I, I like the coverage um, because I don't like something heavy and, you know, although that zit, still there. Um, and then the, oop, the concealers, I like the concealer too. I'm happy with it. Um, the primer, I don't know. I like how it felt. It made my skin feel glowy. I did like the blush, even though I'm not big on a cream blush. Highlighter, you know, worked good. Um, I don't know if you can see it now. I like my highlighter. See, I tend to use more of a powder because I like it to, I don't know. I like it when you can see the highlight, like a bam. <laughs> so... And I don't like putting powder on and then putting highlighter on top of it. I just don't think it looks right. So I like to, I don't know. So I'm not big on the cream, but I do like, um, you know, I like it. I, I don't think I'd buy the highlighter, but the blush, the blush, I probably would definitely buy again. Well, I didn't buy these. My daughter did. Um, oh, lip products. Let's use one of these. I use the balm. Whew. I'm not a matte lip girl. Nope, don't like it. It has a weird smell to me. Yeah, don't like it. Let's use one of the balms. I already knew. I already knew. Let's see, there's this one and this one. Oops. <laughs> Definitely more to my speed. God, my lips are so dry. Like, they're peeling. Um, I 
like the balm. See, I feel like I'm not good to determine on any of the lip color products because I'm just not a pro at any of that. It's not my... Like, if you want my... Yeah. So, I don't know. I like it okay. There's nothing, like, spectacular. But I do like them. I like the balm. Um, oh, I forgot the... We gotta finish this off. This isn't bad. It's just not a good. Um, where's my mirror? It's just not a good mister. That's the only thing. Anyways, well, I just wanted to kind of tell you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, don't. I don't know about the sponge. I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. I kind of liked it for putting the cream products on. Um, and it actually worked pretty good doing the um, concealer. I'm just, it's not my type of sponge. But I would definitely use it again for um, like the cream products, the blush and stuff. I felt like it did so good with that. And the eyeshadows, really great. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the look, if you like the products, or if you've tried any of them. I'm curious. I actually, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't, well, I don't know. I mean, when I think Selena Gomez, I don't think makeup guru or anything like that. So I wasn't sure how they would be, but I'm liking them. I think she did a good job. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.